What is up, everybody? Strybrecker back at it again. Last time we surfed on Pikachu and went on this water ride a bit. And also in the title of the last episode, I forgot to title it, so you saw like August 4th, 2020. So, yeah, I just kind of, if you saw the video before that, you know, oh well, whatever. And I like how, okay, so this is, Bla okay, so this is supposed to be Blastoise right here, right? Why does it look like a seal? Like, like the po literal Pokemon seal. Can someone explain that to me? Okay, whatever. So I run into an encounter. Gonna be a Tentacool. We've already talked about these things. You know, they're a pretty cool Pokemon. Yeah, get them as low as level 40 up here. So I'm actually not gonna be able to run away from this thing. So I'm just gonna body slam it. Uh, it's using Constrict on me like a little douchebag. And it's gonna lower my speed. Now it's gonna try to use Screech. Which it knows is gonna be killed by a body slam. So yeah, it actually gives you some pretty solid experience. So I'm just gonna spray Repel even though. It'll, be, it'll make me be able to run away from most Pokemon here. But not all of them. In case I not have Repels or did I just not see them. Do I really not have repels? Alright, whatever. I guess I'm cutting out wild battles for the battle. Or for uh, the journey, okay? Or not for, bleh, not for the journey, for the uh, video. So, yeah, let's just uh, keep surfing and turfing over here. I already fought you, right? I can beat Pokemon swimming. Yeah, tell that to, uh... Yeah, tell that to Golduck, buddy. I don't think you can beat a Golduck at swimming. Or maybe I'll bring a Floatzel over. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. What, you thought you were gonna, like, dive in and, like, freaking, like, swipe a shelter with your hands? Okay, let's see. Swimmer wants to fight. Obviously, these guys have no names because they're losers. So, he got his Goldeen. So, you know what? I want to heal up that 2 HP, so let's hit him with a Mega Drain. Always gotta love that. Wish Giga Drain was in that in this game. That would be a great move. I'll even take Gen 3 Giga Drain out of the 60 power 5 PP. Drain. So we got our health back, so now he sends out his shoulder with his tongue sticking all out, so let's just cut off that tongue with a razor leaf. And we'll be seeing a shelter. Yeah, this is a great route for Venus, because there's a lot of water-type Pokemon here. And see, he's going to send a Sea King. Uh, obviously, I've already talked about Sea King. I really don't like it that much. It's kind of a crap Pokemon, so it's going to die to a razor leaf. Which, you know, I kind of wonder how Venus is even fighting here. Like, he's not a water-type Pokemon. I get that I'm on Roshi's back right now. But was, like, Venus just, like, floating in the water? Like, a Venusaur doesn't really look like the type of Pokemon that would be able to swim. Like, I can't ima like I can imagine, you know, like, Snorlax just, like, floating in the water because he's all fat. But I can't imagine a Venusaur being able to do that. That just seems kind of, uh, far-fetched. Not like I have one of those on my team. Oh, puns. Yeah, so there's uh, four swimmers right here. I'm just only going to fight two of them. Swimming's great. Sunburns aren't. That's why you got to put on sunblock. But if you're in the water, you're not really concerned about getting sunburned. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing. And Beauty wants to fight. But these beauties are just swimming out here, you know, for their goldines. You know, they can't have any variety. This guy, will pro she'll probably have, like, a Sea King or a Shelter or a Poliwhirl or a Tentacool. Like, nothing fun, you know. I'd love to see someone pull out a Golduck. Or, yeah, I should probably have, like, a horse. I know someone down there has a Seedra, so that's pretty cool. Yep, there's our Sea King. So let's just demolish this thing with Razor Leaf. Uh, we are coming up to a Fire Gym uh, up here soon and, uh, against Blaine. And the Pokemon Mansion has a lot of Fire and Poison types. So this is a really good route for Venus just to uh, clean house and get a ton of experience. Uh, what do you have to say, beauty? Shocker! Oh, you want that? I'll send out Quitella. He'll hit you with a Thunderbolt. These waters are treacherous! So that's why you're just swimming in here without a lifeboat. Like, how do you know Gyarados isn't gonna swoop up and just eat you? Like, I feel like Gyarados attacks would be, like, a real problem in the Pokemon world. Yeah, he has level 27 Tentacool, so I should be able to kill it in one Body Slam. So, we're all good here. Body Slam is just such a good move to have on Venus. Alright, check out Tentacool pretty easily. Next up, he has another Tentacool. So, we're just going to be cleaning house here with Body Slam, so it looks like we have a pretty good deal going on. Uh, now bringing out his Staryu, so this Staryu is about to get Razor Leafed. Uh, Venusaur isn't super fast, but it's not like slow, it's a uh, surprisingly like neutral speeded Pokemon. Sped, speed, I don't know what the word is. Alright, so see you later Staryu. Alright, now I'm going to bring out his Horsey. So let's just keep staying in. I'm just gonna use. Ve I'm pretty much gonna be using Venus this entire episode because I want to absolutely clean house here, and Venus will get up some great levels here. So yeah, I just gotta put down the horse. So we've been fighting a lot of Team Rockets, and then there was Koga's Gem, and then the Cycling Road. So Venus hasn't really gotten uh, too much to a chance to shine here, but I am gonna switch out the Venus 
And let's see here, who wants to go in? Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, let's go Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's actually level 38. He's uh, tied for a lowest level we tell right now. So let's knock this thing out with a dig and get Fahrenheit some experience, because I think this thing would end up surviving a body slam. I don't want to deal with its treacherous water gun. Uh, I would have had to use Mega Drain then. Okay, see you, Tentacruel. Level 39 for Fahrenheit, there you go. Fahrenheit, an all-around great Pokemon. Oh, dangerous! Yeah, these swimmers out here, they're, uh, they're pretty random. Not like ever- oh, this guy might see me. Yup, okay, whatever, I don't really care. Ah, oh, I- wait, I would just love your ride. Can I have it if I win? You cannot have Roshi if I win. Or if you win. You cannot have my Blastoise. Well, how about this? If I win, I get some of your Pokemon, so I'll take your strongest Pokemon if I win. So we're doing, uh, we're doing Battle City Pokemon rules. So I'm not really interested in your Poliwag, but I could use it in my Pokedex. I'll just throw it in my PC. So that's what we're doing, so I'll get your strongest Pokemon when we're done. Hell no, you're not getting my Blastoise. No, I want it. You want your strong, you want my strongest water type. Well, my only water type. Venus up to level 40 is officially our strongest Pokemon now. So now she has her Goldeen, so let's just put this thing in its place. Got like spam razor leaf, it has a lot of PP too. Uh, so that's all good. I think Mega Drain could pretty much just knock out all these Pokemon anyway, but I don't need to recover health. Which Mega Drain, I don't really think it. Which I think that uh, the Mega Drain and Giga Drain, their biggest strengths is that, you know, when you're using it in a battle, it heals you up so you don't have to waste a turn healing. So I think that that works out really good. Uh, if you're seeing in Leroy's uh, playthrough of Crystal right now, that really has been working for him with his son Flora. So if he ever needs to heal up in battle when he has his growth set up, he'll just use a Mega Drain. It won't really matter. He'll just heal up. So yeah, that's uh, Mega Drain's not a bad move. So Goldeen. So so far that Sea King's your strongest Pokemon. I'll gladly put it in my Pokedex. Uh, when we, when we win, or when I win, uh, yeah, Venus, you don't do anything, you suck. Just kidding, Venus, you were just murdering all these fish out here. We're going fishing right now. Uh, see a Goldeen, she has her collection of Goldeens, and a Poliwag. Well, she had a Poliwag earlier, so I guess that makes sense, and we're probably gonna run out of Razor Leaves here. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, let's just slice and dice Poliwag. There we go. We'll be seeing a Poliwag. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, I lost! Nothing about how I get your Pokemon now. I think I missed like one or two trainers up there, but whatever, I don't really care. Uh, let's go up. Yeah, it's always really way harder to see in Gen 1 and, and these swimming routes, I feel. I feel like I, I feel like it's like way... like I, It's not necessarily hard, but it's just like annoying. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Yeah, like that's why I never got that. My mom never take me to swim classes in this game. Which, you know, if you guys, if, if I need to teach a Pokemon Surf, why can't I just swim like you guys? Like, that's what I always thought. Yeah, so this guy's a horsey. I believe he's a guy with the Seedra, so that's a pretty cool th thing about him. So let's just kill him with a Razor Leaf. Yeah, I would have liked to see, like, some people with, like, Golducks out here, you know? I know I always complain about the Team Rocket people and, like, these hikers and these, uh, bikers. But, yeah, like, these people are just as bad, but at least they have a little more diversity. Yeah, let's just keep a razor leafing them. Just putting Horsey down on the ground. Next up, yep, he's gonna have a Seedra. Seedra uh, has a lot better defenses than Horsey, but definitely still going down to a razor leaf. Uh, yeah, it didn't really get good until like it got the Kingdra uh, by evolving in uh, Golden Crystal or Golden Silver and then Crystal. So yeah, Kingdra is an awesome Pokemon. Level 41 for Venus. He's just cleaning house here. Uh, now she's going to have her Horsey. So yeah, she has her Horseys and then her Seedra, the most overdone uh, uh, trainer trope ever. We have the Under Evolt, we have the Pre Evolution, then we have the Post Evolution. I know I'm always complaining about that. Yeah, so we're definitely coming down the home stretch. We uh, get to go into Seafoam Islands here, uh, catch a legendary Pokemon, uh, go a small route. Then we got the Pokemon Mansion. We got Blaine. Then we go up that other small swimming route. We got the 8th Gym Leader. Uh, we got Victory Road. Uh, then we're in the Leaf 4, so uh, definitely going to be probably around 10, maybe less parts uh, until we're at uh, the Elite 4. So... Yeah, we're definitely hitting the home stretch here. Our Pokemon are getting way stronger, as you can see. Uh, Venus is just dominating everyone with his Razor Leaf. They're gonna get those crits every time, baby. 
Uh, now I'm gonna have a cloister. Yeah, so see, at least this guy has a cloister. You know, he does that annoying type that I hate. But at least he has a cloister. Yeah, definitely don't use your physical attacks on this thing. But uh, special attacks are the way to go against cloister because its special is not nearly as good. And obviously a super effective a special attack will knock it out fairly easily. Uh, what do you have to say, bro? Splash! It had no effect. It didn't do anything. Alright, I think that that's it for trainers on this route. Venus had a little feast. Believe that is it. Gotta check every corner. Alrighty, up. Got one more. Oh. Yeah, I just thought it would be funny to show us. There's level 5 tentacool out here. Like, there's level 5 tentacool, then there's level, uh... Then there's level 40, so there's, like, the freaking tentacool, uh, hierarchy. So I thought that was funny, so I thought I'd add that. Seafoam is a quiet getaway. How is Seafoam a quiet getaway? It is an Arctic... It's like an Arctic area. There's ice in, in it, which... Can you explain why we went from, like, a tropical area where we're going to, like, this icy cave? Like, can someone please explain that to me? But, yeah, Seafoam is not a place you'd want to go on vacation. So let's raise relief to Cedra, another lady with a Cedra. So, you know, at least these Cedras are a bit cooler than, uh... A bit cooler than uh, the other Pokemon we've seen here. I'd love to see some uh, Kingler, though, or some Gyarados, or some Golduck. I think Golduck is an awesome Pokemon. I really like it. Yeah, so we're actually going to be out of Razor Leaf after his trainer, but luckily I prepared Mega Drain. Gotta love that. So, you know, why have Poison Powder, which kind of isn't that good of a move, and I can just have Mega Drain? Alright, she's going to have another Seedra. See, so she has the one Unevolved Pokemon and the two Evolved Pokemon. So you gotta respect her. She's probably the best trainer on this route. So gotta give her props right here. You know, gotta get. You know, you didn't even uh, attempt a single attack, but you know, gotta uh, gotta give you props. Level forty-two for Venus. He's just leaping up everyone. All right, what do you have to say? Quit it. Yeah, I know. I was kind of brutal there. You know, slicing up your uh, Cedras with my Razor Leaf. All right, and that is it. We have finished this round. I think I probably missed, like, there was, what, one, two, maybe two or three trainers. But that's fine. I don't really care about that. I think that there's, is there a guy we have to fight here? No, there's not. But, hey, for the heck of it, uh, because I don't want to end this quite yet, we'll fight this lady. So, how about we put up Quitella, because I think Venus's uh, reign of terror has gone on uh, quite enough. So, uh, let's surf this Oroshi, and then we'll handle Seafoam Islands next time. I love floating with the fishes. See, there's no fishes in this game. You know, you got your Goldeen, and you got your Poliwag, and you got your Seedra, or Horsey, and then you got your Tentacle. And, you know, you got your Seekin level 35. So, honestly, Quitella might not be able to knock this thing out in a Thunderbolt. But, yeah, you know, there's no fish in this game. Like, is this fish just referred to as water-type Pokemon? Okay, yeah, so you survive the hit, and then you go for Tail Whip. So let's use Seismic Toss. Don't give in. Everything you got. Blah, blah, blah. Say the whole deal. And Sea King is down on the ground. Alright, what do you have to say? You know what else I gotta ask? Yowch! Yowch! Let's ice it up! Okay, you know, let's, let, let's see what this is for shits and giggles. Tentacool, yep, what level? Ah, <laughs> ten. Alright, guys, that has done it. We have taken out that route. And next time I'm up, let's see how you're doing, Quitella. You were happy. Next time on Pokemon Yellow, we'll be exploring the Seafoam Islands and capturing a legendary Pokemon. See you guys next time.